Hello everyone, this is the Classic Pro, and today we are going to be finally be playing a game that I should have been playing since the beginning of October, but everything just got out of hand with scheduling, and not that I really had a schedule in the first place, and not to mention the fact that, um, yeah, fun times, I guess, but yes, we are finally about to play the game that I've been meaning to playing. I've been dying to play for the last few weeks since October started. But without further ado, uh, you guys already read the title. So I guess you guys already know what it is. Um, why isn't it turning on? There we go. Yep, it's a GameCube game. Awesome. Ugh. Yep. Anyone who's played this game already can tell. It's time for Luigi's Mansion. Released as the launch title for the Nintendo GameCube in 2001. And I really love this game so much. Uh, this is definitely one of my top favorite GameCube games ever released. So I've got a few files here that haven't necessarily been used. Um, there's this first file right here that I've played through twice. Uh, I think I think the first time it was for the first time that I beat the game, and then the second time I run through the Hidden Mansion, which I guess is a more difficult version of the game, because I really don't know what the Hidden Mansion is about, what the extents of it, what the extents of it really are. Never thought to find out, but never mind that. So, uh, let's take a look at our settings. I'm gonna put it on Dolby Surround. Uh, who's that strange old man? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we will meet him later on. Oh, and get this. We can watch the, we can watch a trailer to the Pigman movie. For those who don't really know, who didn't really know what that game was back then, could... I mean, could uh, watch the trailer for that game and see if they liked it. So, nice feature, Nintendo. Nice feature. So, we're going to start off with a new file. File 3. And we've got a cussing here. Uh, Luigi going through a strange forest after winning for after winning a a contest that he didn't even enter. He even has a map for the, this strange mansion. And here it is right here. Look at this place. I mean, even for a kid's game like this, it's still a creepy looking mansion. And it's time to start Luigi's Mansion. Mm -hmm. Now, I just want you guys to know that uh, the last time I played this game was when I bought this game for the port. Let me repeat that. The last time I played this game. <laughs> was when I finally got the game for the fourth time in my life. Before that I had three other different copies of the game and they all just died miserably. And I didn't really have time to practice 
I only, the only amount of time that I had was to actually get used to the controls again. So yeah. So what do we have to do? We have to go up these stairs to the second floor. I, I love... Oh, yeah. Press the, press the A button to call out Mario's name. Not that it really does anything. But if you get close to certain objects, then it will activate and you will get to see what's in that particular item. I mean, sometimes you'll just hit a wall. Sometimes you'll open drawers and stuff and you can even go up to different types of doors and the game goes into 60 frames per second when they when they close up when they get close up to Luigi's hand Mickey Mouse ish hands What is that? Where is it going? It's a green foggy thing. And it disappears. Yeah, catchy music. And I've got to say, I love the soundtrack in this game. It's so catchy, it's so good. It's awesome. By the way, to turn off the flashlight, Press and hold the B button. You'll need that for later, and we'll see why later. But now we have to use the key to open this door. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful looking game, even for 2001. And that goes for a lot of other GameCube games that came out around this time. <laughs> Best cussing in the game. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wham. Is he dead? This game is violent. <laughs> I'm kidding. Ouch. Oof. I sure took a lot of nuts in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching Tom Foolery. Foolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor E. Gad. This house, I swear it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young feller like you doing around here, anywho? Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> uh oh, this looks ugly. <laughs> All right, youngster, look lively. Follow me. Post haste. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm. Where is this, you ask? Why, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor Egas Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab, if you're, the lab, if you're of a shortening, shortening mind. You won this mission in a contest you didn't even enter. Sounds pretty fishy to me. So you believe the mansion actually exists? Then, strange. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 years old or so. He doesn't even remember how old he was. <laughs> That's funny. Why is Luigi looking so suspicious right now? And I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. A few days ago? The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Wait, it's almost 10 minutes into the video? You've got to be kidding me. Now that I get a look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat, kind of like 
kind of like yours, went up to the mansion with, without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. He Was he a dream too? What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. He wouldn't stand a chance against get those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the, here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with the ghosts. With ghosts. So you can rescue your brother, Luigi. And overgrown fist. I'm really sorry, but I love this music. I love the music in this game. And it's only gonna get better. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius. The Poltergust 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use our, use our button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. Okay, this is kind of loud. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. So you'd better use this. It's the only way to foil them. Foil them. This is the only thing they fear. So something to... Something... Or something to that effect. <clears throat> well, how's about we start your training? Oh yeah. Ghosts seem to like darkness. And they avoid the light. So if you hit him with a flashlight beam, all of a sudden... You can stun them momentarily, then it's vacuuming time. When you see your chance, hold down the R button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. You'll learn more that way than just listening to me yap about it. Especially me. Oh wait, I screwed up. Remember this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, heard it, heard it, heard it, heard it, okay. Got it. Get in here, boy. Yeah, he said that already. Get in here, boy. Get in here. You have to get. You have to get as close as you can before flashing the light. Surprise him with the light, then they get close. Pow pow! The more the better, got it? Yeah. Take the- oh! Yeah, we gotta do that again. I think, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All of you get close to me, and take this! All of you get in my vacuum. Catching ghosts means using the flashlight and the Poltergeist 3000 as a team. You get me, young feller? That'll do. Well, how many did you get? Yowzer, eight ghosts. Go get those ghosts, Luigi. I say you're ready to look for your brother now. Fine, fine. Looks like you're... Looks like you worked out quite a sweat there. How about I look cool? A little cool down in the gallery. Gallery. I'm quite proud of it. You know. Uh. Wait, I didn't mean to. Dip crap. Crap. There's no need to come here yet. Because. I once had 21 paintings in my famous ghost collection. But now there are only frames. What a crying shame. Unfortunately, there are only statues here, 
But feel free to look around anyway. Use the X button to check your surroundings with that Game Boy horror I gave you. Be sure to search suspicious places and extra places extra well. You can also check objects with the A button by tapping a shaking stuff and shaking stuff. Don't try to don't try that on the angel statue. <laughs> oh. oh wait, he's making us look around. Oh that's oh that's crappy. Yeah, he told us not to He told us not to tap on these things, but we're doing it anyways. With the lights on like this, uh, there's no point in using the poltergust. I mean, look at Luigi. He's, he's not even... You call this running? Are you done reaching art for today, Luigi? Oh, yes. Where am I? Uh, what's the GB horror? Go back to the lab. Sorry to bother you. Let's look at the GB horror. I designed the Game Boy Horror as a communication terminal. It has all sorts of functions. For example, you can press the Z button to see a list of the items you've picked up. Give it a try after you get some coins. Of course, you'll also be able to see portrait ghosts there. Once you capture some, you can also use the Y button to display a map of the mansion. The, the display will color the rooms as you visit them. Check the map if you ever get lost. Got all that, Sonny? Alright. Now, let's uh, go back to the lab. Alright then. <laughs> I really love this soundtrack. Where will you go, Luigi? The mansion? The training room? The gallery? The training room is only if you actually need to remember how to play the game. But what we really want to do is just go back to the mansion right now. Now, the thing about Luigi's mansion is that in my opinion, it's kind of like a survival horror game for kids. Uh, that's what I think of it. Uh, but for the most part, it's kind of an, it's just an action adventure. Oh, it's Toad. What's up, Toad? Boo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> Where did you go, Mario? Wah, wah, wah. Huh? Luigi? Wow, it's Luigi. You finally made it. Oh, joy. Thank goodness. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. I'm surprised he did that. He left when he heard stupid thunder. That the game. He left when he uh, heard that you'd won a mansion, and he never returned. But then, when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts. And I didn't see Mario anywhere. And I kind of freaked out a little. And I didn't know what to do. This has been awful. Please, please, please. You have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Leave it to me. Yay, thanks. Luigi, you made my dark and stormy night. I wish I could do something to help you. Wait, I've got it. At least let me do this. Yeah, um, throughout the game, Toad will let us save the game. So he'll be our game saver. But we're not going to save right now. Talk to me for help anytime. But yeah, now the mansion is lit up. All because Toad has the power to unleash the light. 
That makes no sense, but it's funny. Mario. Mario. So like I said, calling calling Mario's name won't do anything. I don't know what happens when you just put out all these lights. Okay, maybe I need to turn this down because that, that thunder is really loud in the game. Uh, but that's Dolby Surround for you. Okay, nothing over there. Hey, coins! Coins, I love it. So when you press down on the, on the C-Stick, um, Luigi will point the poltergeist upwards, and and then if you um, point it down, if you point the C-Stick upwards, you will point the flashlight and the poltergeist downwards as well. Horizontal movement is all the same. So throughout the game, you'll hear you'll hear um, Luigi humming to the music, and it's so funny because he sounds so nervous, like a nervous wreck. I love it. I love this game. This is gonna be fun. I think we have to blow out the candles. And let's see what happens. Oh crap. Who will put out my candles, you Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes? They love the dark, and now they will get you. Boo bah. Now you're in for it. Blah. Just let like little red cap before. Just like a little red cap before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever. Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you? Are you? Here they are now. Or whatever he said. I was pretty close. Get away from me. I, I like to distance myself from the ghost. Uh, but if you wait too long, he'll just disappear. Take this! Well, oh, by the way, this door is locked, and if you knock on it, you'll get hurt. So don't touch it. Otherwise, you're just going to kill yourself. Get in here, boy. Now, the, the ghosts can drag you um, when you're trying to get through this level. I mean... Oh, now we can leave out the door if we wanted to, but we're not going that way. 